What's up, everybody? Justin here, bringing you another poorly reviewed beer from Off Color Brewing in Chicago, Illinois. This is Fierce. And it's probably a little bit hard to see on here, but it calls it a, a Weiss beer with a Napoleonic sour streak. Uh, more information from the brewery. Our ghost's meaner cousin will flail your tongue as hard as he can. But being such a little guy, you'll probably just pucker a bit. Spawned through an overnight kettle souring with our house lactobacillus culture, the wart emerges furious at what we did to it. Then, just because we add a pitch of saison yeast and allow it to free rise to its further disdain, it comes out angrier than, uh, angrier than, well, something really angry. But at 3.8% ABV, there's no reason for you to be too afraid. Uh, they mentioned the 3.8% ABV. Also, they call the IBUs 3-ish. Malt used are pills, wheat, and flaked wheat. They say a little hops are used. And the secret ingredients are lactobacillus and a Napoleon complex. So keeping all that in mind... Let's check this beer out. Uh, so I only got about two-thirds of the bottle in there. It is incredibly well carbonated. Uh, tons of bubbles shooting up through the glass and a, a good head that is actually dissipating fairly quickly given the amount of carbonation. Uh, at least in my opinion. Right now it's probably about two and a half fingers, close to three fingers of head. Uh, but again, that's dissipating relatively quickly. The first finger or so is already gone from the top of the glass. Uh, in terms of color, it's got kind of a white wine thing going on. Uh, hold up to the <clears throat> hold up to the light. It really gives it a uh, kind of a, a lemonade color. I would say like a, a well done natural lemonade that's just uh, has nothing but lemons and water and sugar. Um, but otherwise kind of a, a normal color white wine, champagne, or a normal light, a white wine. Maybe pushing champagne, but it doesn't really have any kind of the, the golden colors really. It's uh, just really on the pale yellow side. All right, got it all in. Finally, after a few pours. Maybe just a little bit of haze. I can't quite tell if that's chill haze or not. I don't think it is. But uh, it's just slightly cloudy. I can see my fingers through the the far side of the glass. I can kind of make out the, 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 the New Jersey state shape on the, and the round, the, the, the circle rather on the, uh, far side of the glass. I can kind of make them out. All right. Uh, enough talking. Let's, uh, I've been stalling while this beer, uh, finally settles in, but let's go ahead and give it a drink. Plenty of, uh, lemon in the aroma and, uh, good amount of lemon in the, in the taste as well. Not sweet at all, or maybe, maybe just barely sweet. Yeah, there's there's something uh, a mild amount of sweetness, especially early on in the in the drinking experience. Frankly, it kind of reminds me of a. Uh, I mentioned white wine for the the color. It reminds me of a uh, maybe a spritzer where you white wine spritzer where you don't use uh you don't use quite enough sprite or you use like seltzer water or something. Uh, but, you know, but, but uh, I'm enjoying it. I, that is, that is, uh, I am enjoying it. So they're saying it's kind of in the, the Berliner Weiss to, to Gosa style. I'm not really getting much in terms of saltiness. As they say, maybe just barely sour. Um, yeah, so a, a mild sourness in the first half kind of crossing with that uh, that early sweetness. And then as the sweetness dissipates, 
That sourness does ramp up a little bit, but I wouldn't call it strong by any means. I will kind of note this is probably right at the tail end of its uh, drinking life. Um, so maybe things are just a, a hair muted uh, in terms of the flavor profile, but I mean, I, I, I think it's fine. But maybe everything could just be a, a tad bolder, but that, again, that might be me, but I, I'm getting plenty of flavor out of this beer, personally. So yeah, lemon, maybe a, a, just a bit of grapefruit, a little bit of a, a little bit of sourness, a little bit of sweetness. Again, just kind of the white, a white wine feeling to me. Uh, I, I don't drink a ton of wine, but just kind of, just kind of a, a, a wine feeling in the back of my throat, especially when I drink whites. Uh, maybe it's just kind of it's because it's a cold wine. I don't quite know. I'm not a, I'm have very little versing in the in the wine world i have to defer to my parents for that one but um as i said it reminds me a little bit of a white wine white wine spritz are kind of a kind of a deal in addition to the the, the mildly tart citrusy elements to it uh, i'm enjoying it if you're like a hardcore goza fan it is not that by any means uh, doesn't mean it's not enjoyable, but um, if you're looking for for like a, a hardcore goza, and then they kind of indicate that in the uh, in the description that it's it's trying to be something big and bold and powerful, but it's not it's not quite there. So they, I think they certainly hit the mark on what they were going for, what off color was going for, but um, overall, it's generally a, a mild to medium flavor experience. Uh, but again, uh, enjoyable. So that is Fierce from Off Color Brewing in Chicago. And that is it for this edition of Poorly Reviewed Beer. You can find all my reviews, both video and written, along with news commentary and more at poorlyreviewedbeer.com. Also check out PRB on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Untapped. You can find all those links and usernames in this, the description below. If you, are, if you are so inclined, feel free to like this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you around at Poorly Reviewed Beer.